Greetings from the Economic Innovation Group. My name is Chris Slevin. I'm the Vice President at EIG on behalf of John Letary, uh, President and CEO, and our research and policy teams. Uh, thanks to Novogratic and Company for inviting us to uh, give a few remarks. Um, and thanks to Mike Novogratic, John Scaretti, and the whole team uh, for their work uh, and continued collaboration and, and really helping to foster this network of stakeholders around the country uh, embarking on the use of the OZ incentive. Conferences like this one uh, are important to learn best practices, uh, to hear from key government officials, uh, and to raise the right questions uh, from practitioners. Uh, more than two years into the newest and in some ways boldest experiment in place-based policy, uh, we're seeing uh, more of the original vision uh, underlying opportunity zones uh, come into focus. Uh, a wide range of places uh, are seeing a wide array uh, of investments and the flexibility that's at the core uh, of the incentive is bringing new participants uh, into the community and economic development space. Uh, it's shined a light uh, on disparities uh, between neighborhoods, between regions. Uh, it's prompted uh, the creation of new data tools, um, some created by the big name institutions. Uh, it's prompting more cities and towns uh, to look at the maps uh, in their communities and to um, measure indicators of well-being. Um, and so one of the best examples uh, of new participants and, and collaboration and place-based and place -based policy making uh, since Opportunity Zones is in Alabama, uh, where state reforms and mayoral leadership, um, the work of anchor institutions uh, and a new organization called Opportunity Alabama uh, has together catalyzed uh, upwards of one billion uh, in new investments in, um, in brownfield redevelopments and blight removal uh, in affordable housing. Uh, and there are hundreds of stories um, we're seeing uh, where Opportunity Zones uh, has become a difference maker at EIG. Um, we've put up on our website an activity map. You can find it at eig.org, which gives a snapshot of a lot of that activity uh, happening. Um, please send us uh, updates uh, to include on that map. Um, but there's much more work uh, to be done to realize the potential of uh, the policy. Uh, much of the country is still working its way through the rules and regulations and how it works, uh, what Opportunity Zones is and isn't, and how best to use it. Uh, that's why conferences like this one uh, are timely uh, and critical. Opportunity Zones are a product of its time. Uh, it's, a, it's a policy tool we didn't have uh, during the last recovery uh, from the financial crisis of a decade ago. Um, it's why there was bipartisan support in Congress for creating uh, something like it. Um, and so uh, here we are in a um, sudden uh, recession brought on by the pandemic. A uh, recession that's hopefully short, but that's um, certain to take years to dig out of. Um, so I guess our message uh, for you all uh, with this conference is, you know, we all need to step it up and to um, make this incentive uh, work and to really meet the moment. Um, at EIG, we see huge potential um, for Opportunity Zones uh, to be part of uh, a new re revitalization uh, in thousands of communities and to help neighborhoods uh, realize their potential. Uh, clearly, Congress plays a role here. Um, and so uh, we are working uh, hard um, with partners on uh, issues around data collection and transparency and see that those issues um, get resolved by legislation. Uh, we need to build more technical assistance and capacity building in communities um, to uh, take better advantage uh, of the incentive. Uh, there's various other uh, additive issues to um, enhance the incentive, including uh, extending the timeline for investment. So there's an open conversation right now in Congress uh, on a number of these issues. Uh, I know you'll hear from some of the key players in that debate um, through the conference. Uh, and so uh, our message uh, is also for, for you to continue to uh, inform your member of Congress uh, on the incentive, how it's working, um, what difference it has made. Uh, what can be improved. Um, and so, um, you know, with that, I'll thank you again uh, for the opportunity to say a few words, um, thank the participants in the conference for their contributions, uh, and we look forward to continued engagement uh, on the issue. So thank you again.